Hello, Jeff Foster, WebBiz Ideas. This tutorial is on mapping URLs. Now, this is part of a little larger tutorial on making sure that your web pages are search engine friendly. And this is one of the first steps. Now, the main goal of this tutorial, though, is to match up the keywords you want to rank number one for in the search engines with the web pages on your site that you want those keywords ranking for. So, for example, uh, let's say you're uh, a commercial cleaner in New York and one of the areas you specialize in is office cleaning and you want to rank for office cleaning well you have to decide right do I want to rank my home page number one for office cleaning or do I want to rank an internal page uh, number one in this case we chose to rank them their home their their home page uh, number one at the same time they may have very specialized services like medical cleaning in New York and we want to rank someone searching for medical cleaning New York we want to rank that medical page number one uh, for that and that way when someone comes here they say oh is a picture of a you know a hospital and oh you guys focus on doctor's office dentist office and you know hospitals fantastic that's exactly what I am but they may not get that if they just go to right the home page it looks like they do just you know office cleaning or window cleaning right they might not know that and so you might want to match up or map certain keywords to certain pages and so that's what we're doing again matching up these keywords to the pages so there's only two very easy steps uh, to do this uh, step number one is identifying all the current URLs or the current web pages that your website has and then step two is right to determining the keywords that you want to rank number one for and mapping them up or matching them up together so I'm just going to run you through an example to go through these first steps. So again, step number one I said is identifying all the URLs that you have. So how do you get this list? Well, again, if you just have a small website, you can probably just, I, uh, that's my home page. I know I have this page. Right? You could go to the website. I have a medical page. I'm going to copy that URL. I'm going to paste it in here. Right? You could just go through your website if you had a small site and, and, and find those pages very, very simple. That, that that's an easy way to do it uh, if you have a little larger site and you want to make sure you didn't miss anything uh, a quick tip would be to type in a search operating term called site colon and then your website and what it's going to show is all the pages that are indexed by Google it might not necessarily be all the pages you have but all the pages that Google is seeing that you have uh, another uh, resource and this is the one that we recommend that you do uh, is use a uh, SEO Moz they have a tool called SEO web crawler and, and when you do a crawl test you put in your URL and eventually you'll be able to export the results and now it, it exported all the URLs that really that you have and so all it would be is a copy and paste right you copy this you go back to the template right and you would paste it into column B and so that's what we did for this example right we pasted it in here and, and before I go on to another software that you could use that's free uh, Zenu uh, Link Sleuth, it's uh, X E N U, uh, and then Link Sleuth. Uh, it would give you the same results, a little harder to use, but it's free. Uh, and then that's how you do step number one. That's how what goes into column B, the current URLs, and now you know, hey, here are all the pages I have. And then so step two is right, what goes in the keyword column. And so this is very easy if you've already done keyword research. So I'm going to show you an example that we've already done keyword research for, uh, and we have tutorials on how to do this and how to download this Excel sheet and, and what all these columns mean, so you can see that. But um, for this example, it's a console hotels. They're a boutique hotel in Playa del Carmen. Now, here's all the keywords that we wanted uh, to rank for, and of course, we have to start somewhere. So we've taken that, and we put it into this tab before URL mapping that's called Finalize Keywords. Right, and it's just a finalized list of the main keywords that we want to focus on initially. And so really now it's just a simple of right, putting these keywords here and mapping them to certain pages. So as we are reading through these keywords, we say Playa del Carmen Hotels, Playa del Carmen Hotel, Hotels Playa del Carmen, right? These keywords all relate to each other and you know what? If someone's searching for that, I want them to go to my home page because that's exactly what I do, right? And so, right, you just you just map up these URLs, and of course, we only we started right in this case we started with just one URL. So, right, we'd have to create new ones 
if we have more than one keyword we want to rank for the home page which right almost always you do and then you can just you know do something like that so you can map them out uh, and so that's what we're going to do for our conto right here we're going to map out these these keywords that go to the page um, now an example would be right getting outside the home page for them is, is one thing they focus on uh, our weddings right they have a wedding web uh, page specifically focused on this and why is that well be, because someone that's looking to have a destination wedding you know wants to know if it's set up for that and here oh my goodness look at all these pictures fantastic they can light up the pool on the beach uh, right I want to have my wedding there and so what we want to do though is make sure that that this page comes up when someone's searching for wedding hotel and not just right the home page because the home page right might not necessarily show weddings but this page does and so again we're gonna go back and that's what we're gonna do we're gonna copy the keywords and over here that relates to uh, weddings all right go back to your keyword research find all the keywords that relate to weddings and then you're gonna map those so in our case there is three and we map them right to that page so it's, it's very very simple uh, honestly it's just identifying what the page is about and then, and then identifying what keyword you know you should rank for um, but this plays a vital role in everything else to come and uh, I'll show you those in my tips and so really that's that's the instructions not step number one to review is put everything in column B the current URLs and step number two is take the keywords you want to rank for and match them up with those URLs so now uh, a few tips as we go on um, so tip number one uh, rewrite any URLs that are not search engine friendly for example when we, when we download all these URLs you know most of them make sense right oh this is the payments and billing one this is the you know about us page that makes sense but sometimes you come down to some pages that were built and you're like question mark page ID 36 and you say well what's that page about you don't even know what that page is about so if you don't know what that page is about the user is not gonna know what that page is about and that's not gonna look very user friendly and guess who else isn't gonna know what that page is about well the search engines they're not gonna know what that page is about and so what you want to do is figure out what that page is and rewrite the URL now this this is not gonna literally rewrite it because we're right we're using a Google Docs but right we're planning out on what we want it to say so here's a column that says suggested URL rewrites in our case right it's a pest con pest pest free Denver slash treatments it's a treatments page and so now uh, right when we click that page it, it's redirected to the treatments page so it makes sense and so we have other tutorials on how to do what's called a 301 redirect and so this is just planning out what it is and then later on you can learn how to do the 301 redirect so that's tip number two I mean number one uh, tip number two is also uh, any keywords that don't match up you have to build new pages for so when you again the tip is when you find keywords that don't match up to a specific page you have to build those pages so again um, for example you know if you were going through well, let's use pest free again and, and you're going through here and you, one of your keywords is all about bees right you got you could do beehive, re, beehive removal um, but you have no page for that so a tip is and we have other tutorials on how to create this content inventory but just make a note of that right the content inventory tab is about new pages that need to be built and so right maybe one of these is gonna be you know under your services you might put right I need a page on beehive removal right and then it's just putting notes again we have other tutorials on what goes in the rest of this but right as you're doing this and as you're finding keywords that don't match up to these pages well make a note of it so you don't forget and that's where you would put it in the content inventory document so those are the tips on doing uh, the URL mapping that's a tutorial on how to do it if you have questions see our website uh, and we'll be happy to answer any other questions